This step's going to be all about how we set up Arnold to render the scene in the way that we want. Our render settings in Maya live here. So you've got this icon here just next to the hypershade. It's like a clapperboard with a little gear on it. So we'll open that. And this is our render settings. There are a lot of things that you can change on this. And we'll just go through the ones that are important for now. So the first thing I want to change, because it's the first on the list, is color space. Use output transform is what it's set to. And that's using this sRGB gamma at the moment. If we turn that off, this is actually more in line with what our scene looks like. If we were to take it into something like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, or Final Cut to work with the image, this is what it would look like. It doesn't have this transform turned on. So I'm now going to start leaving this off. And I'm also going to turn it off here by turning that to raw. The next thing we'll look at is renderable camera. We're not going to put any new cameras in for this tutorial, so we'll leave that on Persp, which is this camera here. So we're just using the main perspective camera. The next important thing that you'll need to consider is what preset you want to use, or you can actually just type in the width and height yourself if you want, but I tend to go with the presets. This is what resolution you'll be rendering your images at. By default in Maya, it starts at HD 540, and that's not a bad starting point because rendering, especially with Arnold, can take a long, long time. So I would be thinking maybe I want to up this to HD 1080 at some point, but whilst I'm just getting everything dialed in, I'm gonna keep that at a lower resolution. And it's really gonna reduce my render times whilst I'm making changes to light to materials to get it the way I want. Okay, so that'll do it for the common properties. Let's have a look in the Arnold renderer properties. The main thing that I'm concerned with here is the camera and the AA. So this number is to do with super sampling control. The higher the number, the cleaner your render will look because it takes more samples, but it will also ridiculously <laughs> increase your render times the higher you make this number. For now, because we're just doing test renders, I'm actually going to lower that down to two, but we are going to up that for our final render later because that's not going to be very good. It will only give us an idea for now. And that's all I want to change for now. So we'll close that. And to do our first render, we're going to click on this icon here, which is the clapperboard next to the one with the eye, render the current frame. So let's click on this. So once you give that a click, this window will pop up and you'll see the image being rendered one tile at a time until you get the whole image. So you can see that one light is the one being rendered, which is the directional light and shadows are showing up. So this is quite a small image, but it only took me 13 seconds to render, which is why I'm keeping it so small. Uh, one downside though is that because I'm using this way of rendering it is using this output transform So we just turn that off to get an idea of how it looks and it tells us that the lights probably not bright enough So we're going to up that and the shadows are actually Quite hard and I want them to be a little bit softer So I'll have a look at that as well before we move on to make the light brighter you increase the intensity There's a slider or you can just type a number in. I'll just try doubling it for now mm, Let's try three times as strong that's better and what we'll also do is just go back into our Arnold settings and we're just going to increase the angle which is going to make the shadows look a little softer so let's just go somewhere kind of towards five and see how that looks so let's give that a render again so whilst we've got this output color transform on you can see that I've now managed to soften the shadows which looks better and we turn that off I think I want to go just slightly brighter on the light. This should be a dark light because this isn't really our main light. The main light will be the candles. So this is just light that we want to look like is coming through the windows. So we don't want it to be too bright, but we do need it to be a little bit brighter than that. So I'm just going to up that to four, test again. And then if I'm happy with it, we'll move on. So there's four, let's render. Okay, so that's done rendering. Let's turn that off. Yeah, so what this is doing is just sort of filling in the background and we can see a little bit of what's going on, which is all I'm looking for from this light. In the next step then, we're gonna add a different type of light to act as our candle light, and then we will make some tweaks to that to get the scene a bit more evenly lit and making more sense. So, see you there. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.